Hey there guys, what is going on and welcome back once again for some more Need for Speed 2015 customization. My name is Cyrex or Cy for short and today guys we are going to be customizing the Subaru BRZ Premium 2014. Now I already managed, I already tuned one of these cars before which is one of the clones, the Sky and FRS guys. If you haven't already checked that video out, be sure to check it out because it was an absolute fantastic build. So what I'm going to be doing with the Subaru BRZ is actually turning it into a drift car. And because these cars are so easy to tune, they're already so gorgeous looking, I just cannot help myself. I have to do them all and do a separate build video for each and every one of those uh, these clones. So with all that said, guys, if you do enjoy today's build episode, be sure to leave a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more. And let's go ahead and crack on.
changes.
guys have it an absolute sick looking livery design on the Subaru BRZ let me guys know your thoughts down in the comments below and also guys if we hit 15 likes on this video I'll be sharing this livery design on the community pages so you guys can go ahead and download it so guys moving on and looking at the performance figures for the Subaru BRZ this car is fully stock at the moment but it won't be for long and looking at them right now they you can tell this car is pretty damn slow overall. It's just got over 200 horsepower, top speed 143 miles an hour, cut a mile time of 15.03 seconds at only 98 miles an hour, and also not to the time of a dreadful 6.59 seconds. So what we need to do is bring in some little life into this engine and into this car and just completely turn it into an absolute monster. So once fully maxed out guys, this baby is going to be doing 0 to 16 2.26 seconds, quarter mile time of 9 seconds flat, 167 miles an hour, top speed 232 miles an hour, and also just under 1000 horsepower, holy shit guys. Now guys, I should point out that I'm using the force induction kit elite, uh, elite turbocharger, TC4, D race, and also drift tyres as well. And here we have the handling setup for the Subaru BRZ guys, it's a drift oriented setup so I highly recommend guys if you want to use this car for drifting to give this setup a try because it engages drifts very easily and also it's very easy to maintain those drifts. However if you are feeling like you want to try out a different setup for this car or one of the other clones, uh, be sure to check out my video on the Sky and FRS, that would set up, the setup on that is absolutely just balanced just right for the car and I would recommend trying that one out as well. Right then guys, it's now time to see what the Subaru BRZ can do when we hit the streets of Ventura Bay. So we're going to put it through a few tests, see how well it drifts and how well it maintains those drifts. And also guys, see how fast it really is on the straights and see how well it sounds. So let's go out and terrorize those streets. So guys, we are back inside the tunnel of Eargasm and now what we're going to be doing is revving the hell out of this car just to show you guys what this thing sounds like and also see how fast it really is because we have a very long straight section here as well. So we're going to be testing out the top speed and seeing how amazing this thing sounds like. So I'm going to be quiet for the section of the video guys and I'm going to start revving this thing up. So here we go. Right then guys, it's now time to put the BRZ through its paces on a drift event. So this drift event is called Drift Like Panther and it's a pretty damn hard drift event because the track is very very narrow as you guys can see right now. So I'm not the perfect drifter or the best drifter on NFS but I'm having no trouble here whatsoever. As you guys can see the BRZ it's very easy to maintain drifting or even initiate drifting with. It's a very damn good car to drift around in especially with the setup that I have included in today's build. So guys if you're having trouble with drifting or having trouble finding the perfect drift car for you I think the BRZ would make the perfect choice it's very easy to drift with and it, you just can learn so much from drifting this car and just trying out different things with it as well so guys that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed this episode leave a like if you have and let's not forget to subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in my next video take care everyone, and thank you guys so much for watching peace out